Hello dear viewers, welcome to RTD's English News Edition. Here are our major stories. Beautiful beaches and important marine biodiversity for the tourism community. Non international stranded migrants in Sicily, the United Nations sends Italy and the EU back to back. Thank you for joining us in our news stream. We're going to open our edition tonight with this event without images. The ambassador of the Republic of Djibouti, a dean of diplomatic corps in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Ziaudin Said Bamakroma, congratulated the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, and His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz, Crown Prince and Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. On the occasion of the success of the Hajj season this year, the Good Organization and sponsorship of various official sectors in the kingdom. He also congratulated His Royal Highness Prince Khalid al Faisal, advisor to the custodian of the two holy mosques, Prince, Maha Prince uh, of Mecca region, uh, chairman of the Central Hajj Committee, and His Royal Highness Prince Abdulaziz bin Saud bin Nayaf, Minister of Interior and chairman of the High uh, Hajj Committee. He expressed his gratitude with, uh, for the great efforts ex started and led to the success in the celebration of pilgrims who perform their miracle, uh, their pilgrimage in the most uh, complete manner with ease, security and tranquility. And now back to the news, uh, to the national news in the series of news reports we present to you in this edition, which highlight the tourist and historical uh, places of our country and marine animals living deep in the sea. You will uh, now follow a brief report on cruise ships. Here is in details with Mohamed Adena. Talking at the beginning of this edition of the fleet to see the park of the pleasure boat and the departure at sea, the Djiboutians are always, with the absent subscribers, the main tourist attractions that makes its international fame reside in the fauna and flora offered by its coastline. As example, we can mention the migration of the world shark, on which we will return during this diary. But there is no so much to discover. To do this, a team of RTD went for a wet, the beach on the sides of Gubet only. The idea being to make you do discover not the beach known as the white sand of international renown, but virgin beach of all human traces is still unexplored. As for the park, as you can see, Djiboutian boat trips are almost nil. This thou Owners inform us that these clientele customers remain of European origin. Hence, our observations of the disinterest of the Djiboutians in discovering the riches and wonders of their country, which amazed so much and remain the dream. And as the owner of the door said, the sea is a God's gift, a paradise that is unknown to Djiboutians. And for this report, the RTD decided to make you discover in this series uh, the pictures which, uh, with uh, no any human uh, trace report. The of Arta is about 50 kilometers from Djibouti city. To get there, take the national one road from 34 kilometers after having left on the right the road for Arta and cross it, the small villages of Rea, it is necessary to take the first track on the right. This is one borough for almost all the route, 15 kilometers, the bed of two dreary wadis, Wadi Dare and Derla, where encampment of nomads as well as their health, got sheep camels. At the halfway point, the track is crosses beautiful deep gorges to finally reach the seed side. The beach of Arta is pebble beach, is lined with mountain of volcanic origin, this is the only beach in this area to be reached by road. Several other beaches border the sides of this region to the area of Kubet al Kharab or the island of the devil. These beaches, whose ecosystem is breathtaking, are accessible only by sea. The RTD team, which has traveled that country to offer us these reports, has also gone to sea, headed by our featured reporter Ahmed Hamid. Ahmed has spent days. He is not about to forget, especially in these gorges and the small beaches unique in the world. He even went to the island and he said to be haunted by the devil. He will not see anything abnormal about it. He will even decide to bath there about the demon that haunts the place. The owner of the star will explain on the way back that the 
only thing out about the of the ordinary is the wire pool caused by the underwater current at the entrance to the gabbet wire wind capable of breaking and engulfing a small boat without power engine at a place has an impressive fouling where we can see beautiful color ship fish and sometimes even whole shark a few meters from this pebble beach a spectacular peak awaits you and allows you to discover a coral fauna and fish of all kinds when it comes to the fauna it's rather disappropriate disproportionate in a species diversity but also especially in terms of size in the disorder giant moral ale a string grace a split and baby monta clownfish groupers lionfish fish porcupine and small squirrels not shy at all but the highlight of the show is the passage of the whole shark in abundance in this past between december and february the water is emerald green and the vision is about 10 meters in the water a few meters from edge a beautiful drop with multicolored fish the water bordering these beaches are crystal clear and extremely fishy and it is a real kaleidoscope and of shape and colors that dazzles you whole a school of fish and different species line the beach families of napoleon groupers paracuda parrot surgeon barely 20 meters from the edge fall diving in the waters of Djibouti is pure happiness its coral reef and the wealth of underwater wildlife attract more and more divers for those looking for more impressive underwater encounter while shark will meet from November to March it's not uncommon to cross during these dives in one of the most wonderful things they give the country's loyal marine animals, shark or whale, a wild, which migrates in large numbers to our seas in some seasons as expected, uh, are expected during the next two months. In this next report, we highlight this type of marine animals and the dangers it sometimes poses to tourists and those who are particularly uh, deep in sea. Those were the images in this reportage. And now moving on to the uh, semi-aquatic forests, uh, which attract tourists, abound on our shores, uh, places of natural habitats, very important for the ecosystem and biodiversity. It is enough to walk there to appreciate the beauty of these forests of the sea. It is the forest of mangroves. Uh, some of them are withering away and why? First, the mangrove are a group of uh, mainly woody plants uh, that grow in the tidal zone of the low uh, tides of the tropics. The four main mangrove areas in Djibouti, first to the uh, west of Djibouti city, along the coast and forest in danger of the, uh, disappearing because of the proximity of the city. It is the longest fish in the world. Despite this imposing size, this shark is safe for humans, unlike most of its uh, congeners. It only feed on plankton. Each season, from October to March, several hundred people gather in the turquoise waters of the Bay of Arta, which are filled of plankton. At this time, the feast of the giant takes place uh, just under the surface where the light makes the food abound. But over the year, the giants of the sea are increasingly vulnerable to the tumult of the modern war. The ignorant fishermen, the unreasonable tourists, and the perpetual coming and going to the speedy boats are seriously endangering this colossy. Thus, this face-to-face -face between the man and the shark take place in Djibouti. The public authority have created a marine protected area in Arta Bay, this meeting place for the reproductions of hull shark. Over the year, the popularity of the wild shark has grown and tourists now flock by teens to approach them. The animal is about to become the main attraction of the bay, but for how much longer? Because normal frames, excursions and safari often take the shape of the decent rodeo. Who will have the best photo assorted on all sides? The dreams of tourists sometimes turn into nightmares for world chart. As you can see, the Djiboutian remains absent from all this pleasure that our sea offers, whereas these tourists come from very far from Australia, the United States and Europe. And above all, do not tell me that prices are not affordable for Djiboutian, but 
not to bring tourism to bring an economy to the region is good. Tourism should not aggravate the problem, the danger to this giant of the bay. The propellers of both that uh, mutilate animals sometimes until they kill them. Sharks are indeed under the surface of the sea in front of this in uh, urgency. A young eco guard was hired his mission traveling around the perimeters of the protected marine area and encouraging both pilots to be more vigilant. Abdo tell me about the, his, his work interview in Somali. However, a long way has been traveled and soon on the perimeters of the marine area the helmet will become mandatory and the movement of boat will be tightly controlled. These targets and men will be able to cope it with peace of mind. For this, the Ministry of Environment must complete the provisions already started so that these gentle giants of the sea are safe next season. That was uh, the reportage on the uh, whale sharks uh, reported by Ahmed Hamed. Uh, now moving on with the our reportage prepared by the reduction in about the mangrove forest. Uh, the Musha Islands Kuduria considered the most beautiful mangrove in Djibouti, Karingar, and Bastian between Obok and the Eritrean border. Elsewhere, there are some relics on the south coast between Djibouti and Loyada. At the mouth of the Wadi Umbuli, near the presidential palace and in the salt mines to Durali, there are true densely uh, populated housing areas. Uh, these might are semi impotent forests are essential for underwater and ensure wildlife such as birds, crabs, rats and insects. The intervening of the roots of the various species of mangrove is an uh, inexhaustible uh, source of food, a place of habitat and reproduction for fish. There are four species of mangrove trees in Djibouti which develop a thousand tracks to survive. Mangrove is often defined as all vegetation uh, consisting mainly of mangroves which grows in the tidal zone of the intertropical uh, littoral areas. The mangrove colonizes areas fed with fresh water and sheltered from marine currents such as uh, estuaries, lagoon systems, that is to say, calm and shallow areas. Uh, we can distinguish three types of mangrove, uh, coastal mangroves, uh, which have the distinction of being mobile depending on the movements of the mud uh, as well as they canalize the, uh, the fixed Estuarine mangroves as the mouth and in the deltas of the rivers, mangroves of uh, uh, coral reefs. Uh, the generic term mangrove refers to any tree or shrub that can adapt to life in shallow uh, brackish uh, water. The uh, specific vegetation of the mangrove has a physiological uh, mechanism adapted to very uh, difficult living conditions. Uh, the mangrove is one of the most productive ecosystems in the world. It will be as productive as the tropical rainforest. One hectare of mangrove is 300 tons in dry organic matter and produces about 15 tons per year. Like its seagull cousin, the gull is part of the Lurida family. It is the emblematic bird of the French coast in particular, but the seagull can also uh, live at inland along a river or near water points, even in cities. The gull is uh, smaller than the gull, which has a colorful bill, uh, and there are many species of seagull, so the uh, black headed uh, gulls and the uh, monopar seagulls, uh, and silver or uh, Franklin gulls. The black headed because is the one uh, we meet most on the uh, French coast. It is uh, recognizable by its white head, its legs, and its orange-red beak. The uh, seagull is especially recognizable by its very uh, typical horse cry that looks like senior, and it is a very noisy bird that lives, uh, feeds, and sleeps in colonies. Its food is composed of insects and small fish that it catches uh, the black-headed gull. Uh, the first from the gull in the uh, breeding season by the presence of uh, a brown cap uh, adorning its head. Not very shy, it is not afraid to carpet with the men by settling in the cities. The flight is usually fast, but it is also very good. Uh, 
during the nesting season uh, it behaves astonishingly uh, when the when it is distributed it uh, first gives its rise to a cry of alarm which causes the flight of several birds so they dive together on the intruder in spring it with droppings so they continue this ride until uh, the runaways eat this harassing uh, before it's called it uh, hustling or mopping that's what happened to our team who wanted to land on this island and we had our eyes rifted on this colony several tens of thousands but they uh, defended their uh, territory. We are approaching a little more. We saw that what seemed to be small people were uh, actually the eggs of the seagulls placed on the sand. Uh, there uh, we saw that there was no place to put a food. Uh, from that moment, uh, our attitude will change drastically. Uh, they let us know that there was uh, no place for us on this island and we could only uh, contemplate the spectacles that presented itself to our eyes. Uh, newborns who had just hatched and go to meet the parents. It is questionable how parents recognize their offsprings in this widespread and uninterrupted tumult. The seagulls are still there. The Yawaki district has entered the sixth edition of the Corridor League on the 23rd and 24th of this month. The event was organized by the Association for Development and Solidarity and under the supervision of the State Secretary for Youth and Sports. Collected this league, about seven teams descended from seven areas including Mulut, uh, Jerombos and Glamu and preferred the uh, capital of the province of Unity City. The event was attended by high-level officials from the state Secretary for Youth and Sports, including the Regional Director of State Secretary for Youth and Sports, Mr. Umar Hassan Abdullah. This event falls within the framework of the efforts of the State Secretary for Youth and Sports aimed at promoting national sport and fighting young, uh, as well as this uh, final match of the uh, football team, met the, uh, the, uh, what the birthplace won the title team in the sixth edition. Obituary we received with great sadness the news of the death of Mrs. Muhubbu Qadr, who passed away in the hospital of uh, Umar Hassan al-Bashir. The deceased was, uh, was, was the wife of our uh, talented artist, Mr. Muhammad Adam, and the uh, deceased was born in 1951 and left two sons behind. The management of the TV broadcasting RTD is addressing for the deepest uh, condolences to the family and friends of the disease, asking the Omar to keep her in the, the disease in, in his mercy and welcome her to his eternal paradise. In our regional and international news, the fight against Ebola in DRC is compromised by armed conflict. More with Hindi Ibrahim. On Friday, on 24 August, the WHO reported that a patient had been identified in the city of Oesha, in an area controlled by Ugandan Alia Democratic Army, repelled for the first time. We have a confirmed case in an area of great uncertainty, said Peter Selema, WHO, a deputy director general for emergency response. That was really the problem we both accepted and feared at the same time. Riot around Russia have killed a large number of civilians and helpers, priests and government workers are held hostage by the rebellion, he said. Italy threatens to stop into EU uh, unless blood takes in stranded migrants. More with him, Ibrahim. The migrants have been blocked at the Sicilian port of Cantania on the Fesele DCOT since Monday night as the Italian government refuses to allow them to disembark without a commitment from the European Union to take some of them in. High-level officials from the a dozen European Union member states were meeting in Brussels on Friday to discuss what European Union officials say was to broader issues of the disembarkation of migrant rescue at the sea. European Union sources say they do not uh, know whether the delegates will strike a deal on the DCOT during their talks. The European Union has decided to turn its back on Italy when it's again, Deputy Prime Minister Luigi Di Maio wrote on his Facebook page on Friday, adding that this country had no choice but to take a commitatory measure in a, in a thorough way. We are ready to reduce the funds that we gave to the European Union.
We have come at the end of this edition, a year after filling my Namara, Rohingya demand justice. Thousands of Rohingya Muslim refugees on Saturday marked the one-year anniversary of the attacks in Bangladesh, praying they can return to their homes in Myanmar and demand justice for their dire relatives and neighbors. More than 15,000 gathered in the morning on a hilltop in Kutubalang refuge came part of a spread willing website of settlement that they are now home to nearly 900,000 Rohingya who have fled Myanmar to escape violence. The camp exploded in size last year after Myanmar's army launched a wave of anti Rohingya attack on August 25 with same 700,000 Rohingya eventually pouring across the border. Thousands were killed in the violence. And that's all for the tradition. Thank you for joining us on Radio Television of Djibouti and have a good night.